Hello Virgo Moons and welcome to your 2023 Moon Scope. We are going to look at the movement of Luna through Virgo throughout 2023 and how that's going to impact you with cycles, manifestations, and different emotions that you'll be feeling in like high energy days throughout 2023 opposed to low energy days. And also, I will link a video at the end of this video, like it will pop up the last 30 seconds of this video to see what phase of the moon you were born under. Because whether you were a Virgo full moon, a Virgo waxing crescent moon, it is significant for this life journey and just different things that you'll be working on. So definitely check that out after the end of this video. And um, I just want to point out that Luna is moving through Virgo 14 times in 2023. And um, there's only four of you that she's doing it that many times. Everybody else, it's just 13. So, <coughs> excuse me. Virgo, let's get into the movement of Luna, and then we will pull some cards for you guys. All right. So, the first two months of the year, you are wrapping something up, okay? Um, you're working towards completion. You're working towards making some change here, all right? I, I just see, like, wrapping up, wrapping up, because... January and February, when Luna moves through Virgo, she's in a waning gibbous position. So you've already completed something here, and now it's like you're wrapping up loose ends. You're trying to phase out, move on to the next thing, which is coming to you in March with your full moon, okay? So the Virgo full moon is March 6th through 8th, and there's big changes happening in your life at that time, okay? So my singles, um, March may be a month where you finally meet somebody very significant. Or if you already are talking to somebody, that would be the time where you guys are getting official or getting serious or deciding to move in with each other. Some of you, this could be big changes around job or living situation, okay? It's just in March, boom, manifestation that brings big change. And now April through May, you're working towards new energy. You're building something new. It's like you've kind of started on a new path here, okay? And uh, April and December are the months where Luna is going to transit Virgo twice. Okay, so April and December are also powerful months for you guys, Virgo moons. I would say March, April, September, and December are your most powerful months, your biggest months of change and shifting energies. Okay, um, now in May, you April and May, you are in a waxing gibbous position, which means you're working towards your building. Okay, June, July, and August. It, your moon is waxing crescent position as she um, goes through the energy of Virgo, okay? So June, July, and August, there's a lot of activations happening for you guys. A lot of new energy, a lot of new ideas. These are the months to really pay attention to your intuition. And then in September, we have the Virgo new moon. This is starting a new cycle for Virgo moons, okay? Okay. And um, we're going to pull cards and stuff to see the area of your life this is impacting. But in September, with that new moon, some new cycle, whether this is of the soul, an emotional journey, a relationship, different for all of you, but a new cycle starts in September, okay? Um, now, October and November, these are the two months where you are going to be feeling your lowest energy because as Luna moves through... Virgo, she is in a waning crescent position. This is, you know, when we need to go within, we need to reflect, we're feeling very emotional, we're thinking about a lot of things, okay? So October and November bring your lowest energy days compared to the rest of the year. And then in December, the early part of December, Luna will be in a last quarter position 
which to me is you really clearing any of those energies of the past that popped up in October and November when Luna was in a waning crescent position, okay? You're really wrapping that up. Um, a lot of completion, getting over a lot of stuff that had been bothering you. And then December 31st through January 2nd, Luna is in a waning gibbous position, which means you're, you are excited, you're robust, you are feeling motivated and full of energy and full of life, okay? <clears throat> so, Virgo moons, January 10th through 12th and February 6th through 8th, you are completing, you're wrapping up, you're transitioning. March 6th through 8th, bringing your full moon is bringing about a big change in your life. So, uh, January through March, those dates I just mentioned are high energy days for you. The full moon may trigger a bit of emotions as full moons do. Now, April 2nd through 4th and then 30th through May 1st, you have waxing gibbous May 27th through 29th. You also have waxing gibbous. So again, um, you're just kind of like building. You are exploring, you're growing, you're expanding, you're making progress high energy time okay now june 23rd through 25th july 20th through 22nd august 16th through 18th and september 13th through 15th um luna is in waxing gibbous waxing crescent and then new moon energy okay so this period of time is when you really want to pay attention to your intuitive promptings. This is a very significant time also for my singles. If no love popped off earlier in the year, um, June through September is a beautiful time for new love to come in. I see new friends. I see new ideas. I see new living situations, job changes, just like a lot of new energy. Also new energy inside of you where you're feeling more hopeful, optimistic, positive, okay? This is a prosperous time energetically for you guys. And then that September 13th through 15th, new moon energy. Remember, a new cycle is beginning for you. October 10th through 12th and November 6th through 8th. These are highly sensitive, highly emotional days for you. Not the best days to be making decisions because you're really gonna be caught up in your emotions, okay? And December 4th through 6th, you're going into a period of review to really close doors on things that need completion. And then December 31st, moving into January 2nd, you are feeling excited and alive for the new year. All right, so Virgo moves. Let's get in. Let's pull um, to see which planetary influence is the strongest with your moon energy for 2023 as well as which area of your life this is most likely impacting. Okay, so um, the sixth house is the house that is ruled by Virgo. Okay, so this year being a Virgo moon, sixth house coming through, a lot is going to change in your day to day, in your routines, in your jobs, um, a lot of uh, major breakthroughs. Um, some of you, this is like you're going to be starting a, a new religion, a new diet, a new lifestyle. Okay. Wow. Big, big changes. And what do we, oh, yes, because look at what we have there. Pluto, that is the planet of major transformation. Wow. Virgo moons. This is a year where all things in life are changing because with sixth house being your your day-to-day -day, your routines your obligations your responsibilities your job your health like major transformation in that area of your life okay so that is telling me that this is impacting multiple areas of life for you guys um like my singles i see you getting coupled up okay um, I see beautiful changes in jobs. I see changes in living situations. I see changes in perception of life and purpose of life. Wow, this is going to be a very significant year for you. Spiritual growth, emotional growth, uh, life changes.
Oh, look at this. We've got the crown chakra. I am not surprised to see this. With that intense energy I was picking up with the dice there. Yes. Oh my goodness. Virgo moons. This is your year. Your crown chakra is being open and activated. Okay. And that means that you are going to have epiphanies, insights, um, perception shifts about a lot, about yourself, about your relationships, past relationships, who you are, what you're striving for, your life purpose, your spirituality, some of you activating to spiritual gifts. You are really being opened up wide in 2023 with your moon energy. Oh my goodness. You guys honestly have the most powerful reading and I only have two more after Virgo moons. I have Libra moons and Scorpio moons. And you guys are the most powerful. Oh, I just feel so much energy. Like you're opening up like a flower. You're blossoming. You're blooming in so many different ways. Each petal representing a different piece of you. We have loss. Okay, and we saw that at the start of the year, you're you're wrapping up, you're releasing, right? The past is the very next card. Beautiful. You are getting over some things. Secrets. And uprooted. That uprooted right there is talking about all these changes that are going to be taking place. Okay, so we have loss in the past that's being addressed. January and February of 2023 with your moon energy as well as uh, Pluto coming in. And you know, if you're Pluto, it's also in Virgo. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is going to be very, very powerful for you. Okay, um, January and February, you're really letting this go. Okay, disappointments, heartaches, things that didn't work out, relationships, all, you know, um, the emotional upset and imbalance. You're really wrapping that up. You've made a conscious decision like, you know what, I want to reach for this. You're, you're already being activated before 2023 begins, okay? And then um, remember, in March, you have this full moon. So Virgo moons. I feel March is when you feel that the, like the first spark of this activation to your crown chakra. Okay, because it's like you're clearing this energy out and then you're working towards new things. You um, and you're working on yourself as well. You, you may be exploring new spiritual ideas, new concepts. Okay, but with secrets, what I see is a lot of you are keeping to yourself all of these changes that you're going through and what you're thinking about, what you're feeling, what your moves are, like you're being very secretive about it, which is good because you don't always need other people's input, right? Sometimes we do need the voice of reason from friends or family about stuff we're doing, right? This year, I don't feel that's the case. You know what's best for you and I just see you holding your cards very close to your chest, okay? uprooted again to me that is speaking about how many different changes are taking place in multiple areas of your life because it's time it's time for transformation pluto the phoenix rising from the ashes i feel a grown energy about you as well and being more in tune with what you really want what you really desire You know what? 
I love that um, I know that the creator probably intended it to be synchronistic, the past going that way, right? Because we always see things linear moving forward. And um, in a reading, you know, the cards this way tend to talk about the future, you know, the present and then the past. I love that the bicycle is going to the past, meaning this energy is leaving your life. And I just feel like um, the creator of this deck like intended that to be a message of this with the artwork. Like it's time for this to go. And um, being on a bike, you know, it can just flow right out of your life. That It's time for that. All right, we've got the King of Cups. We've got the Queen of Cups. We've got the Knight of Pentacles. The Lovers, Five of Swords, Ten of Cups, and the World. Okay, so Virgo Moons. Uh, yeah, yeah, yep, because look, this is what's on top, this is what's on bottom. Okay, I just have to give a quick message to my Virgo Moon singles. It is time to let the past go. There is going to be a new love staring you in the face very, very soon. Okay. It's presenting as the King and Queen of Cups. Regardless of your sun sign. Okay, um... Regardless of, um, you know, your preference, it's coming through as the King and Queen of Cups, which tells me you guys are divine counterparts, okay? And this is going to be a very emotionally based connection that is solid and stable and is going to grow over time. And... You guys are going to be close in every possible way. Mind, body, heart, and soul. Okay? Any sort of uh, defeat, rejection, heartache, betrayal of the past. It's really going to become insignificant to you. Because this new relationship fulfills you through the Ten of Cups. And this is long lasting in your life with the world. Okay? It's like we're coming out of the heartache, the heartbreak, and into a beautiful new love connection. So my uh, Virgo moon singles out there, I just had to get that out because um, that is such a strong message for my singles. Okay, everybody else, yes. Um, whether you are a masculine or a feminine, you are being activated spiritually through the crown chakra which is going to allow you to feel more grounded, okay, in your your day-to-day -day life through all these different changes and um there's not going to be any conflict between head and heart. When you're spiritually activated and your your intuition is speaking, you know what's right for you, okay? And also, I see a strength within you here where, you know, anybody who's not on your team, you're going to cut them out of your life. All right. It doesn't matter. Time spent, history, memories made, attachment, emotions. No. In 2023 with your moon energy and Pluto, anything that is not serving you, you are going to have the strength mentally, emotionally, spiritually to cut it out of your life. This is a year to bring you into Ten of Cups energy, into happiness, take you out. Like It's like this Three of Swords energy is a part of you for some reason as you start 2023. But as you end 2023, you're in that Ace of Cups energy, which is happiness, satisfaction, fulfillment. Okay. Also, I see with this, that new cycle beginning for you guys with your new moon in September. are some okay um you know what for my singles about this love and the secrets it's like some of you are hesitating 
about it for some reason like you feel it but there's something about this connection that you want to hide from other people and I don't know um, with the world there it could be like you guys come from completely different backgrounds and beliefs religions um, or there could be like an age gap okay whatever that is don't let that get in the way like this is a beautiful soulmate connection and I you know what and I feel anybody that once you're more open about it anybody that has something ill to say you will cut them off and cut them out because you're gonna just realize like no this is the most amazing person I have ever met in my entire life I do not care what you think and what you feel I know this person and I know the person they they inspire inside of me and I ain't letting this go not for you not for anybody you could take your opinions and shove them right up where the sun don't shine yeah Ooh. see I feel feisty yeah you at first you're a little hesitant and I feel a little secretive but then um when you're just like okay everybody this is what it is anybody that is not on board you don't have time for that and you're not gonna put up with it Oh, wow. So balance just wanted to jump out. Yeah. All these uh, big changes and, and transformation is actually, is, it, oftentimes when you hear that, you think chaos, but it's actually bringing balance and order to your life in a better way. So we had the temperance jump out. The Knight of uh, Pentacles. So we have the Knight of Pentacles twice. Cautious but wise action. Metis met meticulous attention to detail. Kindness to others. Dependable, protective, chivalrous, humorous. All right. Seven of Autumn. Have patience and don't worry. Take time to rest and plan your next steps. A prudent investment of time or money. Three of Autumn. Follow your passion when it comes to your career. Be the best at what you do, being compensated for your creative talents. And the Five of Spring, opposing goals, arising from different opinions, feeling at odds with yourself and others, overly ambitious people. Okay, yes. So, my Virgo moons, whatever you got going on here, the changes that you're making, the new directions you're going in, the new people in your life, I, I just, not everybody around you is on board with this and maybe some of you were already experiencing that at the end of 2022 and that's what this is about okay not everybody is on board but what spirit is saying is that's not your problem you don't live your life for anybody but yourself and so just have some patience and, and put them on the back burner until they can come to their senses and get right with themselves okay um I just see some people wanting to control you and what you're doing. And it's, no, you're on the right path. You know what's best for you. Your crown chakra is being very much activated and opened up. And I do see with this Three of Pentacles where 2023 is a year of really building, building relationships, building yourself, building your money, building your career. Some of you may be choosing to go down a career path that other people just don't understand. If that's the calling of your heart and soul, you've got to do what you've got to do. When I was feeling very called into the spiritual life and tarot and all of that, trust me, not everybody I know was accepting of, of what I was choosing to do. But put them on the back burner, give them some time, they'll come around. You know, um, you've got to live your life for you and do what's best for you. And that's what I'm seeing in 2023 with your moon energy and Pluto. Oh my gosh, you're being so activated. Um, you just are discovering yourself and knowing yourself in a whole different way. And I see true, true, beautiful soulmate love coming in for my single Virgo moons. Oh my gosh. It's like best love I've seen in a reading and I cannot tell you how long. Okay, so yeah. Um a very beautiful supportive love that will grow for many many years to come okay have patience with yourself throughout 2023 
um, and especially, you know, the first two months where we're filtering through these emotions and, and letting something of the past go. But right after that, it's like all about the new and there's all this fun stuff happening, all these changes happening inside of you. You're learning new things. You're discovering yourself in new ways. It's just beautiful. All right. So those are your messages. I am sending you guys lots of love and light. Take care.